<laughs> yeah, man. Whoa! <laughs> cool. Whoa! Whoa! That's pretty cool, man. Hey, it's. Oh, hey, bro. What's it's, up? It's scar you guy. again. What's up? Hey, man. Yeah, it wasn't a scar. What you got? That, whoa, is that an Uzi? No, it's like a. It's like you put the thing in there, and then there's the thing over top of it. So an Uzi? No, no, no. It's. Oh no, it's MP5. No. No? We're, What's the shoot? Nine millimeter. Yeah, man, MP5. Okay, yeah, it's an MP5 then. Uh, so yeah, it's really kind of cool. You just do like that. Yeah. And then you. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, man. I told you that's. You couldn't hit something that far with anything but an Uzi, man. It, well, it's not an Uzi. It's not. No, it's it's like a. But it, it says Uzi, right? No. No, I'm pretty sure that's an Uzi, man. You like my Glock? Look. <laughs> it's cool, right? I just got it. Guy sold it to me for two grand, man. Deal. What is your name? Ah, oh, Clyde, man. Clyde. Clyde McFun. Oh, here goes your gun. Your Uzi fail. It did. Yeah, man. So, uh, I hear there's some guys coming out doing a video today. We should go watch. You think they'll let us? Yeah. All right. What are they doing their video on? I think it's like a, I think it was a Arasaka 1923. Okay. Uh, Rambo. I don't, none of those words made like. They don't fit? To me, no. No. Okay. Yeah, Clipazine, man. Check them out. <laughs> hey, man, welcome back to Clipazine. <clears throat> You all right? Yeah, well, that was weird. Uh, hey, uh, welcome back to Clipazine HQ. This is uh, Ran uh, Noah. And I'm Randy. I'm not Randy. I was going to say Randy for some reason. That's not me. He's Randy. I'm Noah. That's right. And we have an FNFAL technically. Wow. <laughs> technically. There, look, so doing some research and kind of going back and forth, there's a ton of names for these depending on where they were used. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to call it an FNFAL. And uh, if you don't like that, that's okay. Um, this one is actually really cool because I like it. No, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. So uh, this has actually got an Imbel uh, upper receiver. Okay. And we have no idea what the lower is at all. Okay. Um, it doesn't have any markings or stamps, but uh, that is one of the better upper receivers for these. Nice. Uh, a lot of people talk really highly of them. Okay. Especially when you have the like two-two combo when they're both Imbel. Okay. People are like, whoa! But this one's just an upper. Double Imbel. Yeah. Uh, these are really cool because these were going to um, possibly be at one point in time, the new military rifle. Okay. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, they they decided not to. They picked the M14, which some would say is better. I would probably disagree. Well, I actually really enjoy this There's one. a big difference between the two and that the M14 shoots 5.56, five, and this shoots what? Uh, well, there you go. You, you just picked it up. It's 308. That's right. So it's a completely different caliber. It, it is a completely different caliber. Uh, some would say a better caliber. Some, some Cause you know, cause it. you got caliper. That's the right word. Yeah, like a, helps you break. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Break uh -huh. caliper. Yep. That's right. When we originally got it, it had a, uh, one of those like thumb hole style stops. Oh yeah. Your thumb goes through it. Kinda. Yeah. And, uh, I actually kind of like, they look ugly. They're hideous. Yeah. I like them a lot. They, they feel good. They feel really like, good. Ooh, comfy. And, uh, but, uh, my dad's not a fan. So, uh, <laughs> you put the, yeah, we got the, uh, regular stock on it here. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it does look better. Um, so doing all this, this lower receiver and all is kind of how you put this on. Yeah. It, it's all one big unit. Okay. And um, so I'm not positive that the backside is completely sided in, but I know it's close. Okay. That's, yeah. that's all we need. Something I personally love about these uh, is this handle is super cool and very useful for carrying. I've, I've always wondered what those are for. It's just, just for carrying. Just yeah, like I mean, briefcase. Yeah, briefcase gun. style, just like, boom, here we go. Um, the old German, like... Uh, Mausers uh -huh. were super like well built and made to be held in the middle. Okay. And this is, I mean, basically, like, this was designed if you hold it here, it is perfectly balanced if you'd like to try. I mean, it, it balances really well. Oh, man. yeah. Like, there's no, it's not trying to tip back, forwards, up, down, nothing. It's boom, there. So, okay. this is your gun. Yeah. So, so, I have a question. Okay, question. What What is this like leather? Well, it looks like it's like a It's a all leather. plastic. It's just plastic. It is plastic, okay. Yeah, no, it, it looks fancy, but it's not. Um, it does not have a muzzle brake of any kind. Oh, you're right. Yeah. 
that's just uh that's just barrel yep. but that's how they were kind of sent huh. you know they weren't allowed to have a muzzle on it really muzzle break yeah and then you got the kind of the side charging it mm -hmm. like folds up into this little yes oh so i guess you could leave that out you could yeah you could leave it out but or you could throw it back down to get it out of the way Ooh, that's feels good right that's a it's lot. a solid rifle oh kind of it go yeah it, it kind of slows itself down okay so what I, we ask ourselves a lot what would you use this for i think we do yeah what would you use this for personally i think it's an excellent um you know hunting rifle right. there's nothing wrong with that it's a good 308 is a very much preferred hunting round that's true very popular and this is already 308 semi-auto you know um they are pricey really uh i mean you're going to be looking you're going to be looking in the upper thousands okay fair you know uh some of them are as low as a thousand to nine hundred some of them were upwards of 15 16 17 uh, just kind of depending on what you get, what combo. These were made for a long time, used by a lot of countries. Uh, Canada used it, Brazil used it, the, of course the British used it. Yeah. And uh, something really cool to keep, or also not cool, this is kind of funny to me, I don't know why they did this. So there's two versions of these. You have one that is metric, when you put the two receivers in the, uh, the lower and the upper together. Okay. There's a metric lower and a metric upper, and then there's an inch lower and an inch upper okay who do you think used wit what is what i want to know well because you're asking i would I, you would think the u.s would be using inches and everybody else would be using metric but is it the other way yeah, around so the british ones uh -huh. were inches huh yeah so they didn't you know you would think especially as much as they 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 tote their uh their, their metric system, system. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh when they built the where they were using these they 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 used the inch one so i imagine the conversation went like this like Oi, bro, we got these new shipment of FAOs in. Yeah. That was kind of like a like a English drill accent. That was, I mean, I felt like I was going to have to put my hands up and get stabbed. <laughs> like you were like a, like a British gangster there. Oi, bro, we got these new FAOs. Yeah, um, that's pretty good. That's the pretty only good. thing is, uh, we're using the inches. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Instead of the metric, which uh, this one is metric. Um, so not not inches. Okay. Yeah, because that's, that's, uh, that's what, you most of the time what got imported over was that. Because these were imported. Oh, hey, bruv. Hey, oh, hey, bruv. Yeah, they're very adjustable. And also, with these rear sights, the first one I've ever seen like this, there is two screws, one on each side. Uh -huh. And you can adjust this rear sight left and right oh. by moving those two screws. What do you call that, windage? Sure. I think that's windage. Yeah. And the other one's windage like... and hindage. Up and down, yep. Up and down didge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. that sounds right. Leftage and rightage. <laughs> Leftage and rightage. <laughs> <laughs> the handle's also great for, like, stacking it up and holding it so it looks pretty. That, you know that... When we're talking about ways to measure things, I never understood why they just don't call the left side of a bolt the left side. Right. And the right side the right side. Why do they got to make it complicated? It's like starboard and poop deck and... Yeah, and harbor. Yeah, meet, Harvard? meet me in the starboard yard. Yeah. <laughs> Where's that? Oh, on the left. Like, if you're looking at the front, it's the left. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, it's called the driver's side and the passenger side. Right. Yeah. But I guess the captain's like in the middle with his big. It's still there's still a driver and passenger. You know. You know the boat. Passengers are out on the deck, and then. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I think we should do some some shooting with this and actually see how we like it. Yeah, let's do that. Because uh, currently I don't have a mag in it. Hopefully we brought it. Yeah, I hope. Well, I guess that'd you be awkward. One at a time. <laughs> one, old one at a time. Boat action. You know that sounds like something a uh, guy I met would do. His name, I think, it was Clyde McFun. Oh, Clyde McFun. He, he was here earlier that. when we got you here. Saw him yeah, too. he was pulling out, and you were pulling. Yeah, 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 yeah. He uh, he almost hit me in his '75 uh, Forerunner. That's not a truck that was made. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Toyota's like, uh, excuse me, no. <laughs> uh, excuse uh, me. Uh, yeah, no, but uh, this, he's got a 93 Toyota pickup, I believe. I'm helping you out there. Thanks. Yeah, my hair kind of gets everywhere. Yeah. But yeah, that guy's, he's something. Yeah, he had a lot more hair than I did. And it was like two-tone. Yeah. He's, it was wild. He's a real patriot. I think he served uh, sandwiches, maybe. Yeah, he, like, definitely, the soldiers. he definitely served sandwiches to himself and yeah. soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, let's All go right. shoot a few rounds and see how we like it. Let's do it. Hey, you mind doing, like, a, a thumbnail real quick? Like, maybe you just, like, hold it, like, with the carrying handle. Because that's, like, so iconic. That's a money thumbnail right there. That's right. It's good shit. <laughs> it's good shit right there. Money. Hey, 
Hey, welcome back to Clippers and I don't know why I said welcome back. I already said welcome back earlier, but we're welcome back again with the FAL FNFAL AKA 73. What is it really? This is an FNFAL. Okay. We talked about it earlier and now we're going to see if it's actually any good. Um, I'm going to take a few shots. We got the standard long shot, far shot, closer shot. And uh, I'm just going to see how this thing does. Fun fact, I haven't shot this yet. Oh, really? Yeah, it has been tested. It did work. But uh, I haven't shot this at all. All right, let's take a first shot here and see how this thing does. I wasn't ready. I'm gonna cut that. I'm doing any better than that. All right, let's see here. Not used to the take up yet. There we go. I'm shooting a little low. So just gonna aim a little high. Let's try it down there. Nice. Okay, no, it's on. It's just, it's, I think this is kind of high. So you have, you have to aim a little high. It shoots a little low. All right. Yeah. Let's get. I'm imagining. Oh, hang on. Let me, let me get you. Here we go. Action. Yeah. That almost gets in the way. Well, you can move it. Oh, first shot. Oh my God. Did I just quit now? You, yeah, you're good. Don't go any further. <laughs> You'll make it look bad. Let's try. That, that one, I don't know if you caught that. It, it definitely knocked me noggin a little bit. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, dude, you've got that thing down. All right, let's try that far one I again. I told you what to do, though. That's why. Wow, that thing's good, huh? This thing is uh <laughs> That's accurate, huh? It's pretty accurate. Yeah, it's good. All right. Um, How you like it? What's your What's your thoughts? You know, it feels good. Uh, it's very heavy. But not... Not so too heavy. We, we recently did a Jackal video where we talked about the heaviness. That's nothing compared to the Jackal, in my opinion. Can you shoot it like this? Probably. Is yeah. it a bad idea? No, go for it. Oh, bro! What, what else would British people say? I think that's it. That's all they say ever. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oi, bruv! I'm dumping your tea in the harbor! I don't think they dump tea in the harbor. Oh, that was us. Yeah. And that's also, the, like, more of an American one than a British one, seeing how it's in millimeters and not inches. How do you... Oh, it doesn't lock back on empty? I guess not. Nope. So that's it. Um, thoughts on this... This is a cool gun right here. Yeah, I uh, like it, dude. I like it a lot. This, this so, is really okay, neat. Okay, so that was put up against an M14, right? The military had two, were, had, they had a couple of choices, but they that was one of the rifles that they were testing at the time. Okay. Do you think that's better than an M14? No. No? I honestly think an M14 or an AR-15 is like the pinnacle fighting rifle right now. Okay. Sorry. All right, so we're back with the FNFAL here. We're going to take... Uh, five to 30 shots at this paper target and kind of just see how it does accurate wise. We're a little close, so we're probably not going to be exact, but really look for that grouping, you know? So uh, let's see how it does. All right, let's see. I'm going to go for the middle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I think the uh, handle actually got in the way there, and it bounced off the handle. It didn't come out. Let's see. Did it grab around? Go all the way down. Yeah, it did. All right. I think I can go one more here. Okay. Let's see, uh, let's see what Randy can do. All right. All right. Uh, Noah's shots all look pretty low, so I'm going to aim a little higher. Okay, that's good. Safe. Okay. Let's go take a look. Yeah. I think I was really low. You're right. But they're all there. 
Yeah. That's a great grouping, yep. honestly. All right, not bad, not All bad. Right. I'm pretty proud of what I did. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. So this thing, I mean, yeah, dude. I'm not sure exactly what year that one is. Yeah. But it is an older rifle, and uh, it did really good. Yeah, it did really well. So we still got some fruit to shoot. But if you saw this at a store, at a pawn store yes. or, you know, auction yes. site or something, would you get it? Yes. All right. I want one. Yeah, they're pretty cool. This is cool. I like it a lot. Let's see what it does to those fruit. So here we are at my favorite part of the day, where we get to shoot some fruit. I had a good echo to it. Did you hear oh, it? Yeah. You want to do it again? A fruit. Yeah, that was good. That was good. So uh, we're going to take a few shots at these fruits here and uh, just have a good old time. Shoot. Can I, go, can I go? Can I get the watermelon? Yeah, of course. Okay. It's your right. gun. Yeah, put it on the safe. Nice. Whoa. Hey, man, that was cool. I mean, <clears throat> that was cool. That was remarkable. Yeah, that thing really, really went. Let's go for a bottle here. Wow, I think it just kind of obliterated. It didn't even get to do any of the cool spin tricks. Nope. It just died. Try the other bottle. No, I'll leave that for you. Okay. I'm going to go for an orange and or grapefruit, whatever these are. And Calantelope. Wow, that rained for a minute. Yeah. Wow, this thing really devastates those fruits, huh? Sure does. Let's, uh... I think we've got some stuff to pick up. Let's pick them up and then let you take a few shots. All right. All right, I can't do the fruit shoot and holler like Noah can, but I can shoot a fruit like Noah can. Yeah, did you, I saw you do this. All the way down. There we go. Yeah, otherwise it gets in the way. Fair. I missed. I was shooting above everything. Did I hit it? You did, it just went straight through. Oh, weird. Did I? Shoot what? directly above them, like everything. Weird, all right, let's yeah. try the water. Oh, that one had a good spin. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Oh, split in half. Last one. Shoot that other cantaloupe again. Yeah. Go ahead and finish off that mag if you don't mind. We got a couple bullets left. Yeah, finish her off. See how she feels. Give her some rapid. That seemed like it felt good. I feel like, wow, that's nice. I know this is one of the guns in Call of Duty and I understand why it's not fully auto because it's very, very hard to control it <laughs> yeah 308 yeah that makes sense yeah uh what now i think we go close this off huh all right yeah the fal with i think we ought to point out yeah so uh happily sponsored by me because i paid for that but <laughs> but uh who makes that aac that's america's ammunition company a Whoa. subsidiary of Palmetto State Armory. Whoa! Well, thanks, Palmetto. I yeah. appreciate that. Good ammo. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, that was it. Ran perfectly fine. We had one. We had one glitch today, and it's because I had the handle in front of the. Uh, yeah, the, I couldn't get that show up. So yep. the ammo ran perfect. It was real accurate. I like it a lot. Uh, maybe one day you will send us some, and I won't pay for it. Yeah, just if you guys can just send us a box of ammo. <laughs> yeah, like a box a day keeps the doctor away. Is that what keeps it? Well, I mean, it keeps anything away. That sounds like a threat. It's an hey, apple. Stay away, Doc. <laughs> yeah, what? Doc. What? Otherwise, I'll throw an apple at you. Yeah. I really like this gun. Yeah, so I came in today. I forgot to bring it up earlier in the video, but I did come in today kind of comparing this with my Daewoo. Because to me, they're similar. Okay. Uh, just in, in feel and looks, they're kind of similar. Not really, but I, I don't know. I was just, that's what I was comparing I'm with it you, to. I'm with you. 
and I like it a lot more. Yeah, it's it's red. It's very cool. The carrying handle is cooler than I thought it would be. It's so cool. Even when it gets in the way, I'm like, it's so I don't cool. mind. It's I okay. don't care. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's super accurate. Uh, it's like spot yeah. on. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, I think we noticed towards the end, it does get hot when you kind of rapid fire. It. Yeah, That's yeah. Just, I think it's surprisingly hot. It was smoking a little bit there. It was nice. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. And 308, man, I'm a, I'm not a big hunter. Okay. I don't go hunting a lot. All right. And when I do, uh, it's usually like a Mauser or something, you That's know. Fair, yeah. Uh, I kind of like 308 though. Yeah, 308. I'm digging it. It's your grandpa's ca caliber in it. <laughs> it, it. I it can works. see why. I see why he chose it. My shoulder doesn't hurt. No. At do, all. Do I mean, 308 all day and shoulders fine. Yeah. I mean, we went through 60 rounds today. Yeah, I like to do. I like putting that down. So Ooh, I don't hurt okay, it. that is really hot now. I think the sun is making it worse. Could be. Could be. Yeah. It's this is a fantastic weapon. Yeah, Go buy it. it. If you see it, get it. Get one. Yeah. Add it to your collection. Add it to your collection. Have it. Love it. Shoot it. And uh, don't leave it sitting if you do get it. Go go, go use it. It's nice. The most important question I have to ask you is, does this earn the two thumbs up Clipazine seal of approval? That's three. Oh, I guess four would then. Yeah, four. That's our ranking scale now. Oh, out of four? Four out of four thumbs four up. Four out of four thumbs up. Hey, we finally got a decent, it's not like four Maseratis out of four buses yeah, yeah, or some yeah. shit. You that know? didn't make sense. No, but that, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, four thumbs up on this gun. I might have to let Clyde take a, Clyde McFud might like to shoot this AR. He's right over there. You want, you want me to call him over? Hey, Clyde. Why don't you go see if he'll come over here? Yeah, let me go get him. All I'll right. right back. <sighs> You know, Clyde's a good guy. He's just a little misguided. Misclided, some would say. Clyde! Uh, hey, man! <laughs> hey, brother, what's up? I brought my own AR ammo. You did what? I got AR ammo. You got to stand right here. What? What is that? You got to come around the table. Okay. No, no, no. Turn. Right there. You see Whoa, that? hey, man. You're on Clipazine, Clyde. Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> what's up, man? Hey, Clipazine hey. Clyde. Yeah, Clippers and Clyde, man, I like that. So Clyde, this is the uh, FAL that Noah and I just, I, I'm, I'm sad you can't meet Noah, but uh, That's he, not a scar. He left, huh? That's not a scar. No, this is not a scar, it's an no, F man. FAL. FAL. You've played Call of Duty. Oh, so it's an AR. Yeah, 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 from Call of Duty. Okay, cool, man. I brought some ammo for it. Okay. Two, two, three. That's not the right, it. Clyde, no. That's not two, two, three? What is it? No, this is called 308. 308. All right, man. Right. That's cool. Yep. You, so I got some 308. Wanna, can I shoot it? It's probably best you not. Oh, okay. You're, you're more of an AR traditionalist kind of yeah, guy. Yeah, I mean, honestly, man, it's not even a scar. No. And, I wouldn't want to shoot right. it. Right. Yeah. Clyde, what do you think about Palmetto State Armory's AAC, America's Ammunition Company? It's fantastic. Is it good? I guess. I was just asking your opinion. Oh, I thought we were doing like a... Okay. All right, man. Well, I mean, I like it, though. Yeah. It shoots good, man. Good ammo. Yeah, I used the 308 in my 1911. You're... you're uh, no, you don't. Yeah. It, isn't that what this is for? No. Oh, that's right. It goes in the AR. <laughs> 223, <laughs> man. Glad you silly guy. <laughs> well, hey, look. Uh, Noah and I got to film some more videos, so uh, I, we just wanted the, you to meet everybody. All right. Well, I'll go stand over there and watch. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. All right, man. All right. Well, wait, one more thing, Clyde. What, man? I'm sorry. Oh. Do you want to do our outro? Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. Don't forget to tell the people to like, subscribe. Hey, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell your grandma. And this is Clip Azine, and we'll see you next time. That was good. Yeah. <laughs>